Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to give you a really quick uh, walk through the science curriculum that we're going to be using for next year. It's called Elementary Zoology from Masterbox. And I did an unboxing about a couple weeks ago, so I'll post that on the cards on top so you can check the unboxing. But I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough in case you're interested in getting this. This pro curriculum is going to be going out of print really soon and i just want to give you an opportunity to look at it in case you would like to get it i will put a link below it is not an affiliate link but it's like a rewards uh link where i do get points when people buy something from my link so i can get um some books and things with those points okay it is not an affiliate link i don't get a percentage of the of the sales just some points okay so let's go ahead and look at the book. So the first book I'm going to show you is The World of Animals. So this will be the main book, kind of a textbook. It doesn't look inside like a textbook like you will see. It's a beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, my daughter's favorite animal is the tiger, so this is perfect. Um, so the book is separated into different types of animals, okay? So we're going to be starting studying the world full of animals, simple animals, worms, snails, and starfish, insects, and arthropods, fish, um, amphibians and reptiles, birds, and then mammals, okay? So this is the order that we're going to be studying the animals this school year or next school year, okay? I'm going to show you really quick how beautiful these pictures are. Okay, they have beautiful pictures. It doesn't look like a textbook. But this is why one of the reasons I like it, okay? Tons of real pictures. So this is the first section, simple animals, okay? So look how beautiful. So we'll start from the smallest animals to the biggest ones, okay? So look how beautiful these pages are. So I'm really excited about starting to read this book or working on this book with my daughter next school year, okay? Just wanna walk really quick through a couple of the sections, okay? All right, so this is what the, work, the textbook looks like, okay? beautifully done world of animals okay next I'm gonna show you the teacher's guide okay so almost all the guides for master books are set up the same way okay as you can see this book is for four to sixth grade it's elementary zoology and I will be having a seventh grade next school year but that's okay um we're gonna be doing some bonus activities each section that we're gonna be studying just to give her some extra things and i think i'm gonna have to start doing some testing with her and things so um that's the good things about you know master books you can accommodate for older kids or younger kids and that's the beauty of homeschooling okay so the book okay first page here and we have our table of contents <clears throat> using the teacher's guide so it teaches you how to use the teacher's guide okay so each lesson is about 30 to 45 minutes per lesson three to five days a week okay includes answer keys for worksheet quizzes and final exam worksheets to help assess student learning quizzes included designed for grade four to six in a one year course so they have the objectives here um in here it has the course description okay and how to grade it if you decide to grade it and in this section is where they have their bonus activities so um so for all the activities that you can do for simple animals for worms and snails insects and arthropods i'm sure you can find all their stuff but for each section what i'm going to be doing especially since i want to I want to um, just challenge a little bit since it, it, she is a seventh grader. So we're going to read this. I'm going to have her pick one of the activities for each section to do as we work through the different animals. Okay? So different types of animals. Yeah. Then we have the schedule. Okay? In all the books and master books, the schedule looks like this. Okay? So for week one, it tells you what to do on day one. Read. You're going to read from the World of Animals. World of Animals, page 6 to 9. Okay, and then worksheet page 19 to 20 from the teacher's guide. Okay, so you can see it's about three times. You're going to be doing this about three times a week. Okay, it tells you exactly what to read and what pages to work on. So I'm going to show you what the, each assignment is going to look daily. So worksheets. So once she reads, this is what the page is going to look like. Okay, for some of you, this might not be what you want. I am, you know. Because it's just you read, you answer the questions, and all throughout the book is the same format. Okay? 
for us i hope it works this is the first time that we're going to be doing a like a, like doing a workbook with our textbook this is why i decided to pick this for her and you know we're going to work through how to read the text how to answer the questions how to go back and look in the text how to highlight and different things so i think this will be a good way to start okay i will start working with her we'll do it together 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 until she can do it on her own okay so this is what it looks like really simple the next I'm going to show you is the dinosaur activities activity book, the wonders, the wonders of God's world. Okay, I just want to let you know, Master Books. It is a Christian company. All the books are Christian based, so we are going to be learning about dinosaurs from a creation perspective. Okay, so if you do not believe in creation, and this is not what you're looking for, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, it is a Christian. It is Christian based creation base all the books god is interwoven in everything that we read even in our math everything so i just wanted to give you to let you guys know in this in case this is not what you're looking for okay so this is the the dinosaur book so it's just everything is black and white because we're going to be doing some coloring and we're going to be cutting some things okay some of the things might be kind of young for her like i can have my little one do this because it's dot to dot but the information is going to be great okay so i'm not worried about the information being too young the activity may be too young but hey kids love to do things like this so it might you know she might love it she loves the color and she'll you know she'll enjoy doing this even if you know this is a great book okay so next thing I'm going to show you, this is what I'm mostly excited about, is the complete zoo adventure, a field trip in a book. Okay, so this is a guide through, it is a field trip in the book. You can also actually do a field trip to the zoo. The zoo uh, field trip is scheduled at the end of the school year and the aquarium more towards the beginning of the school year. So I'm going to show you what the guide looks like. And so it tells you what to do before you go to the zoo. Okay. So section one, before the zoo, okay? So you read exactly what they wanted you to do, what pages to read, okay? What kind of things you're gonna be doing for each of the of the things in the book, okay? There's a field journal in the back and I will show you. It was, it's telling you exactly how you're gonna be using the different cards that are in the back, which is, you know, the toolkit, okay? And what, so this is what to do. There's a devotional for each uh, day. So it tells you in the guide, it will tell you exactly what to do before. Day one, read this, day two, read this and do this. So there's some devotionals for you to read with your children. Okay, great way to get your um, zoo, um, zoo trip started. Okay, so all these are devotionals. And then what to do at the zoo, section two at the zoo, okay? How to get ready for it, what kind of things to pack and things like that, what kind of activities to do, okay? Okay, and I explain to you how to do the things that are in the back of the book. Okay, and I will show you what those are in a second. Okay, and then we have a section for all the different animals that you're gonna find at the zoo. So we have birds and paws and claws, bats, hooves, reptiles. Reptiles are here, amphibians. Okay, what to do after the zoo. Okay, so the activities for around the campfire. Okay, activities to do after you go to the zoo. Okay, so these are things that you can just make copies of and the kids can do when they get home for the week, you know, the next week. Okay. And then in the back, we have, oh, here's this, oh, it's also some um, life science projects that you can do for, for the older kids. So maybe I will let my, my seventh grader get some ideas from here, do a little, uh, a little project okay all right so in the back of the book there is some activity cards there's some cards here to you like read about the different um habitats so i have tundra the rainforest chaparral okay the desert grasslands and in the back you can read about each of the different habitats okay so these are great then we have uh, some cards here and, and and the guy will teach you how to use the cards i just briefly walk through them 
but it gives you an animal, okay? So here it says, you know, the kangaroo, and it has some questions. So I don't know exactly because I haven't read through the whole thing. If the kids are, if they find this animal, they're supposed to answer these questions by looking at the at the at the exhibit where the animal is or the enclosure and reading the information. But the answers are in the back, okay? So I don't know exactly how we're gonna be using these cards, but it talks about the animal, it has some questions, and then the an the question the answers are in the back, okay? For tons of animals. Okay, little cards here for your field assignments that you can give to all the kids if you have a big field trip or just two if you only have two kids. Okay, and, and here's the field journal. I say you, once you get this, you'll learn how to use the field journal. Once you read through the, through the whole guide, we haven't done that yet. But it seems like you draw a picture, write the animal name and pick what type of animal it is. Mammal, amphibian, reptile, okay? So there's that. I'm going to show you the aquarium one, which is really similar to this one. So they had a complete aquarium adventure, the same, what to do before the aquarium. Okay, again, there will be some devotionals to do, what to do at the aquarium, and with different animals you find at the aquarium, especially if you don't have an aquarium nearby, just go and read through this. And maybe you can find some videos to watch and Netflix has tons of things in Amazon. Okay. And again, there'll be some cards in the back. What activities for you to do with the kids. Okay. Again, there's some, some cards here. We have the animals in the front with some questions and the answers in the back. Okay. So maybe just the things that you can do, I'm assuming. I, I haven't read it yet, but maybe you can do it or like, you know, orally while you are walking through the the aquarium okay like here we have some bingo cards that the kids can uh, just fill out as we go through as we go through the aquarium with different animals that they see okay so this is what the inside of our, of our zoology curriculum looks like and I'm really excited make sure if you are interested to get it now with that link below because it's gonna be going out of print and I'm really excited to start using it I'm excited for the aquarium and the zoo so I'll be making videos once that time comes when we go on those trips I'm really excited so make sure you have any questions post them below is there anything you need me to answer about the curriculums about master books I haven't used master books for so long but I really love the company just let me know if you have any questions questions and how I can answer them okay so thank you so much for watching make sure if you're a new viewer to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon